yo what is up guys welcome back to another video so today i wanted to show you how celebi with the grass sphere is such an op figure it's very like i feel like that it's the meta right now along with the vibreva those are the most meta months in my opinion and down wings of course so uh, if you can see here in the top one uh, top 10 sorry we can see a lot of celebes which like most of them are running the grass sphere grass sphere is such an amazing figure if you're gonna sacrifice one slot for that figure but it's such an amazing change for Celebi because I'm gonna explain why. So this is the deck that I'm running right now. It's uh, I'm trying to counter all of those meta figures right now and I came up with three runners. Uh, so it's like very strange for me to use three runners i used to use no runner decks so it's pretty i i have i had to get used to it but right now i got used to it and i'm really liking a lot so here's the deck and i'm gonna explain why celebi is such an amazing figure so look at here he's got grass nut and um the wheel is amazing like backtrack is amazing and energy ball is all right for certain z moves so it's all good celebi alone can survive most of uh of most of z moves yeah and he it with grass fear it can survive the lunala special z move which is the menacing moonrace maelstrom and then what else this one of course so the grass sphere is such an amazing plate it can survive as well the necrozma dome wings entire wheel like in the entire wheel the celebi is gonna survive it you, there's no odds from for dome wings to to knock out celebi that's that's an amazing thing that's why everyone in the high tier at least is running the grass sphere so i definitely recommend you to use the grass sphere now time to show you some matches and hopefully we see that it's like it's incredible i was such amazed when i saw when i tested the first days and it was like wow i was amazed so i'm gonna come back and you'll see So the match that I'm gonna show you guys is against X Divani. So if you can see, he's running a double downwind deck. So you can imagine that Celebi with the Grass Fear is gonna have an important role against this type of decks because first of all, it can be an excellent goalie if the if both downwings or just one downwings is on the offense, it could, it won't do anything. It won't be able to do anything and uh, that's the main key and Poplio as well is as very very important if you can see my deck has Kangaskhan instead of Mew it's different it's a different one that I show you on the intro um, yeah I played I was playing this deck before I found out that Mew was pretty clutch so Let's show, I'm gonna show you right now the role of Celebi, like you can imagine how powerful it can be. So I start with Celebi to get, to get the first entry and that's how I basically start all of my matches. And uh, I'm seeing that I made a lot of changes to my my main deck right now, I, t I took out Vibrave as well. Um, but anyways, the main the main thing here is uh, Celebi with the Grass Fear, of course. So, Kadabra is a very very annoying figure. It's super good, like it's super good with the with the s Twisted Spoon. It's just an amazing figure. It can it's like a guaranteed ev evolution if you put it if you match it up against the down wings and you have that range too so he can be knocked out it's very very easy to evolve so 
I'm trying to knock out this Kadabra with uh, my Popleo, but unfortunately he landed the Annihilate and I couldn't do anything. Then he went with Absol, and if you know Absol can easily get rid of Popleo, so yeah, I was I was not even in a bad position right now, but the problem is that Kadabra is still alive, so it has that twist to spoon, so that's a guaranteed evolution against Lucario, well it's not a guarantee I could have landed the dodge, but I mean he had great odds there, so I couldn't complain there. I'm feeling in a bad position right now because that Kadabra, uh, like a Sam evolved is such such an annoying figure, it's so powerful guys. Right, like those the decks that I face that have uh, that have like a Sam are so so powerful. Here I made a, a misplay because I forgot the range two counters Vibrava. That's an excellent counter to Vibrava, and I didn't mention it on my last video, but that's an excellent counter to Vibrava. So here he's steamrolling my entire team with like a Sam, like. Yeah, he's Alakasan is owning my team right now, and um, he made a misplay there. I don't know why he decided to use the Z move against the Celebi, you know. But um, it's alright. He, he he's not in a bad position, or yeah, I'm still in a bad position, so he's all, all good. So and I decided to to Z move the Absol to gain some position because you know he's got his six months and uh, I have only four right now so I was struggling a little bit but the good thing is that he's a, like a Sam was rolling everything but the but the the one that knocks out which I forgot the name but uh, he was rolling that and I was okay with that I was lucky I will say he was landing only the steel blind, so I was. It was good for me. That was really good for me. So right now, I decided to attack, and I unfortunately land that aura sphere. But the, right now, if you can see, I'm in a bad position. But Celebi has 100% chance of surviving against Lunala. If it's a versus a Z move, it's not a guaranteed survive, but uh, the odds are not great for for him. But he made a an incredible play. I completely missed the the Z move, and he decided to do that. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna scoop up. Good play because he I he probably wanted to get rid of my scoop up. Um, but yeah, he was he was pressuring a lot, and I was feeling in a bad position. Right now, it was all right. I mean, if he landed, if he knocked out, which I think he knocked out my entire team with with uh, Ultra Necro, but it was all right because I have my Gold Block, and I'm using Kangas Canine as well because I want to. To avoid using my gold, my gold block. Yeah, so I was hoping that he he didn't knock out my my. Oof, I forgot at this. I I've completely forgot this match. But I was I didn't want him to knock out my Kangaskhan and then uh, use my gold block. That's the thing. That was the main reason that I used the Mega Kangaskhan. Then I decided to do this move to threaten the surround with the long throw so i don't oh yeah and he decided to go with mega mawel mega mawel is such an amazing figure but the good thing is that my z bar is filled so i'm good and by Breva, he's super good with his uh he with with his purple z move so i was all right his odds were little he had odds he could land the gold attack, but I mean it's so tiny. So I, I would have been really salty if he landed that gold attack. But it's alright, it's alright. He didn't have the odds, and I got the roll. So that was perfect. So now I'm safe 
for the moment he's pressing a lot the the main reason is that like I said it's super good to gain position so that's why I lost a lot of position at the beginning of the game and I'm in a such a bad position so now he decided to moon guys beam my not my zid move my my ultra my down wings that's I completely forgot and uh, it's alright I'm okay with that as long as I don't have my entries blocked I'm okay with a menacing moon race or whatever temporary exclusion so I'm, I'm okay with that I landed the thing which is good because now I can soft exclude his down wings because yeah I can prevent him to, from tagging it so that's a good way to, to exclude a mon but you have to to avoid focusing the entire time on trying to avoid that tag you know because there's some times that you only focus on on getting that soft on keeping that that month asleep and then he, the opponent outplays you from in another way and you are all done so yeah it's not a good way but if you can do the possible i definitely recommend to keep asleep uh, a certain month if, if you get the sleep on the month so yeah so right now you got the steel blind which I'm okay with that um, I mean kind of okay it's like yeah it's not bad but he can land that <sighs> I forget the move I need to learn the moves like I forget I forgot the name of that move it's uh psych Psy shock yeah it's Psy shock that's the one that that knocks out when there's weight or a special condition so um but okay anyways i went far far away of the from the main theme of the what i'm talking about he decided to moon guys beam and um i don't remember why I didn't oh yeah I, I think I had weight on my down wings that's why I didn't Z move his down wings because yeah that's that's a problem but the good thing is that Poplio is on the offense so he can wipe out that down wings but I don't know why I didn't attack to be honest because I have my Z move filled and uh, so I mean he I could uh, he, it was a guarantee knockout from Absol like Absol versus Vibreva it was a guarantee knockout but I could have Z move with Lucario and it was alright so I don't know why I did that but okay he he knocked out my Vibreva I went with with Lunala I decided to use the Goat Z move instead of the menacing moon race because Mm, I don't know. I pref I wanted to knock that Absol out. Yeah, I didn't have my my Lucario on the field, so if when he came back, it was gonna be a problem. So right now, I'm hoping to land that goal attack from Kangaskhan, and I got it. So that's all good. So now, if you can see, Celebi has done. It hasn't done a lot of things, but uh, normally I just when I can, when I can, I usually spam attacks against uh, down wings to fill my Z move faster. So that's a good way to to use the grass field Celebi. And if you can, see, if you saw the interaction Celebi versus Celebi. The one that has grass sphere won't be affected but by backtrack. So that's amazing. That's amazing. So you need to use the grass sphere. You need to sacrifice that play slot. In this meta where double chance is not super needed, I sacrifice double chance um, and I'm kind of I, I I'm not missing it. I used to use double chance every time and i'm not missing it at all so i'm kind of good with with this new plate setup that i'm using so so I'm, i like it but here i decided to attack 
I just wanted to to feel my zid move, I believe. Yeah, I wanted. Yeah, I just wanted to to get rid of the celebi to be honest. But uh, I didn't know. I wasn't hoping to knock him out on the first try. So now he is in problems. I mean, I'm, I'm gaining. I'm winning position. I decided to use the pummeling thing because I didn't want to move because of the still Z move um, to threaten I could have threatened the game but the thing is that he has menacing moon rays so it's like it's not needed I prefer to right now he used his long throw so that was better so that's a good thing now Celebi needs to clutch out some turns to so I can move all the other mounts near that entry and that's what it's doing. His uh, Celebi is just amazing. Right now, I could have gotten the, the knockout, but he landed the dodge. That, that absolute is... Oh, I forgot about that rewind. But, um... Damn, absolute you are... Very unlucky, yeah. Th in this part, I was I got very lucky with Celebi. That was very lucky, and uh, his Z move is filled, super filled. My Z move isn't feeling fast because I'm not attacking, so that's why. But it's all good. He now decided to use the menacing moon rays, um, so now I'm gonna threaten the game, and then I'm gonna move with Kanga. On the goal, on the not on the goal, on the entry, on the left entry. Now, the bad thing is, Downwings has a lot of purple, so versus absolute the odds are not great. I didn't want to to change the form because you know I could have landed purple twice in a row, and if I lose my downwings i'm gonna be screwed a little bit because he's got two downwings so i'm gonna be screwed if i i lose my downwings so i i always like most of the time i avoid to change the form so only on crucial moments you know but now this is the ending part you'll see this monster the rng was in my favor obviously but First of all, this super grass nut clutch. Then I decided to attack because why not? I mean, I have zero odds of losing and oof, that was super lucky. Now I have to admit that was super lucky, but I I had to like I had to test my my luck, you know. So now I was hoping for the backtrack to get rid, get rid of the of the goalie you know but he landed that reflective thing and now he can't do anything he can't do anything he's all done I mean, no actually he could have done something he oh yeah let's well he could have said with a like a Zen Z move against uh Ka Kangaskhan yeah but I believe he was short of ta on time. I don't remember well. But that was it. If you saw, Celebi can be such a, an amazing threat. So you won't expect to knock out all the, all of the downwinds that you see. If you saw in this video, I knocked them out. But that was extremely lucky. But the major thing here is that Celebi will stall a lot of turns versus versus downwings, yeah, for, versus downwings. So that's really great. You can uh, fill your Z move bar with by spamming attacks versus downwings because you won't die, and um, that's why Celebi is such like it's the S tier runner from this meta. We normally have the coco you know then marshall and the, and uh two years ago it was new you know now we have zelebi but grass fear celebi that's the thing because without the grass fear i consider it a little bit underwhelming i don't know it's 
week, you know? But with the grass free is such an amazing figure. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please leave me a comment down below. What do you want to watch next? In the, the end of the month is coming, but well, it's already the end of the month, but the monthly reset is on the 10th. So ex I, I'm trying to grind for the top number one. But it's gonna be a hard one. Like I'm, I'm close enough. So hopefully, pray for me. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. Peace.